I have lived in Brampton for almost 20 years now. I've moved three different times within Brampton, and so it's safe to say that I know it fairly well. And in this video, I wanna share with you the pros and cons of living in Brampton. Let's dive right in. What is up, beautiful people? My name is Matt Moy. I am your local EXP Realty Realtor, uh, real estate agent. And uh, in today's video, I wanna talk about the pros and cons of living in Brampton. I've been here since 2006, and so I know a fair deal about how this city has just transformed and absolutely boomed over the past couple of years. And I wanna share my experience with you. Before we jump into it, if this is your first time viewing any one of my videos, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and encourage you to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. I put out videos just like this one each and every single week. And make sure you stick around to the very end of this video because I have a gift for you, a free download that's going to help sell your home in 28 days or less, even in this buyer's market. So stick around to the very end of this video. Pro. Brampton is a fast growing city. So again, I've been here since 2006 and I have seen how the city has absolutely just blown up. The amount of people that are moving to Brampton each and every single year seems to just be increasing. And I say this because it's almost like the borders of Brampton just keep on expanding, even though they're, they're, they're not, but they're slowly, it seems like they're slowly expanding because they just keep on adding more and more homes. So it's safe to say that Brampton has a very strong and booming real estate market, also a strong rental market. It is a very desirable place for people to live and you can see that in the numbers. And when I say that it seems like it's just expanding its borders, that's really not the case. Um, what is happening is that people who are wanting to live in Brampton are actually finding their ways outside in neighboring cities um, and smaller towns just outside of Brampton. And so that's kind of why it appears that way. But the strong real estate market here is evident. So what that means for someone like yourself who either lives in Brampton thinking about moving to Brampton is that it is a very strong real estate market and it's pretty consistent. And it's safe to say that if you invest in a home in this booming city, it's going to continue to appreciate over the years. Another pro, living in Brampton means you have convenient access to two of Ontario's major highways. Those two highways being the 410 and the 407. Now the beauty about where Brampton is conveniently located is that if you hop on the 407, it'll take you all the way out from Burlington all the way down to Pickering. Now that makes it convenient, but there is a catch to it. The 407 is a toll fare highway, which means that you do have to pay in order to drive on it. Now the 410, if you live in Brampton or you've been to Brampton, you know that this is a very busy highway. And so sure, it's a highway that goes right through Brampton. However, it is often congested during uh, rush hour, but then again, which highway isn't? Fortunately for me, um, I have two kids of my own, and so I make sure that uh, when the whole family's in the car, we hop on the HOV lane and it gets you from point A to point B much faster. Now, another pro is nature trails and conservation park. Now, Brampton is full of nature trails absolutely everywhere. I think Brampton has done a pretty good job of saving those trails and building them out so that people have a safe place to walk and go for walks with their families and whatnot. I myself, I'm a big fan of taking the family out, going out for a bike ride on these trails or simply going out for a walk on these trails and it makes the experience that much more enjoyable because you're not surrounded by cars, you're able to just you know, let your kids run around freely and that to me is a huge plus when it comes to raising your family. A big conservation park that we have is Heart Lake Conservation Park. My family and I go there at least once or twice a year 
and we go out for nature walks within the park itself. It is absolutely beautiful. There's tons of things to do from fishing to boat rentals. There's a splash pad for the kids. There's zip lining um, and overall great hiking trails and so much more. So if you have not yet visited, I encourage you to go out to the uh, Heart Lake Conservation Park so that you can take a, a nice hike, you can go with your family and have a fun filled day. Last but not least, when it comes to the pros, I will say access to amenities. Brampton has tons of amenities. No matter where you live, you are always close to something. From shopping centers to restaurants, parks, and recreational activities, there are many community centers throughout the entire of Brampton and libraries and after school programs for people of all ages. Now, when it comes to shopping centers, sure, we don't have the high end luxury type stores, um, but they are conveniently located close to pretty much everyone. I would say about less than a 15 minutes drive from wherever you are in Brampton, you have access to some kind of mall, strip mall, um, the biggest one that we do have is Bramley City Center, and then we also have Trinity Commons, right? Which is about 15 minutes apart, um, but will offer tons of shopping, um, quite a few restaurants so that you're able to enjoy with yourself, a loved one, um, and your family. There are several more pros that we could definitely dive into, but for the sake of time, we're going to keep this video at a good length. And maybe I'll do a part two. Comment down below if you want me to do a part two and give you more insight in Brampton so that you have a better idea as to what you'd be potentially getting into should you consider to move to Brampton. So if you are enjoying this video, I'm gonna ask that you pause and you hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that little notification bell so that you get notified every single time I put out a new video just like this one each and every single week. So it can all be good, right? There has to be some downsides to living to Brampton, and trust me, there are. And so we're going to dive into the cons of living in Brampton. So the first con we have is the high car insurance. Now, it's no secret that Brampton is infamous for accidents, lots and lots of accidents uh, throughout the year. Brampton has the highest car insurance rates in Ontario as per rates.ca. Now this is not just myth, it's not just a rumor, it is factual and again the statistics will back it, okay? Um, and I can personally attest to this as well. It is an absolute zoo when it comes to driving in Brampton. When I am dropping off my kids to school or heading into the office, I will always see something. And it's, it's brutal, right? Uh, and if you've been following my channel or seen any of my other videos, you'll know that I am an avid cyclist. I like to ride my road bike, which means I am typically on the road and I avoid Brampton by any means necessary. I will literally get on the road and head up to Caledon so I can ride my bike safely outside of traffic because you never know what can happen but I do know that it's more probable that something will happen if I'm cycling in Brampton and therefore I avoid it. Next up on the con section, we have subpar public transportation. Now, while there is public transportation here in Brampton, which of course there is, but some people might just not find it as extensive as in another city such as Toronto. Now, Toronto is a much more established city than Brampton, yes, but for the amount of people that are living in Brampton, even I can agree and say, hey, our infrastructure when it comes to the uh, public transit system should be much better than it is. And the reason I say that is because I am comparing us to neighboring cities, not necessarily Toronto, but if you look out east to Vaughan, Vaughan has one of the best public transit infrastructures that I've ever seen in any city. Um, and then you have Mississauga, which is very much more of the same. And so Brampton seems like and feels like it's just lacking the public transit system to support the amount of people that actually live here. Now, although we do have direct transportation to downtown Toronto via the GO train, 
That system in of itself, absolutely wonderful, but it's just not enough to make me think that the city overall has a really good public transit infrastructure. Next up, we have another con, which is the healthcare facilities. Boy, oh boy, if you ever get hurt, injured, and needed to go to the emergency department, I already feel bad for you. Fortunately, I have been a very healthy individual up until now. Um, and I hope to continue to be a very healthy individual, obviously. I will say that if you ever head to Brampton Civic Hospital, you will find that you are waiting for a very long time. It is one of the busiest emergency departments in all of Ontario. Brampton Civic Hospital ranked number 54 on a list of 85, the top 85 hospitals across Canada. Now, again, for a city, that is, I believe, number seven in population when it comes to uh, Canada, right? The whole country, uh, population-wise, it came in at number 51, which is the biggest hospital in Brampton. And so that, to me, sounds pretty low on that big list of, of hospitals. Now, fortunately for me, I've only had to go to the hospital maybe once or twice when my, my kids were born. Um, and I had a very quick experience. Again, when you're going into labor, you don't kind of sit around and wait, you go right in. At least that's, that's been my experience. Um, but if you talk to anyone who's ever had to go to the ER um, due to some kind of injury, pain, suffering um, in Brampton, you'll likely hear a different kind of story. And so when it comes to the healthcare facilities, Within Brampton, we have Brampton Civic, and then we have Peel Memorial, which is not quite a full hospital. Um, you will find that the wait times and the amount of people that go flocking to these facilities is quite overwhelming. So if you're considering moving to Brampton and healthcare facilities are a big deal for you, then you might want to think about how this is going to impact you and your loved ones. Now, the last con that we have is community services. Now, I have two daughters and they are very much active in extracurricular activities, such as swimming, skating, uh, they do a lot of summer camps. And so the problem with doing all of these extracurricular activities is that they often come across uh, activities that they want to partake in, but they are always full. Now, any parent that you ask in Brampton that have children that are very much involved in these extracurricular activities, they will often tell you that it is like fighting to secure a spot on these lists. My wife, she will sit, wake up six in the morning when the programs become available and basically rush to go as quick as possible so that she can secure a spot for my girls. Now, what this tells me is that, again, we have a lot of people living in Brampton, but we don't have the infrastructure to support said people. And what that means is a lot of kids get left out of all of these activities because they couldn't simply secure a spot. And in my opinion, that is one of the things that is a huge con to living within Brampton because you can't always secure a spot for whatever activities that you're looking to get into. Well, there you have it, guys. Those are the pros and those are the cons that I find living in Brampton since 2006, all right? Now, there's a lot more that we could go into, and if you wanna see a part two of this video, comment down below and let me know, and that way I will go ahead and record another set of pros and cons just for you so you can get a better idea as to what it feels like living in Brampton. Now, as promised at the beginning of this video, thank you for sticking around till the very end. I have a free guide, a free download just for you. Um, all you have to do is comment down below, free guide, and I will go ahead and send you that link so you can download that free guide. It is going to help you sell your home in 28 days or less, even in this buyer's market. So again, go ahead and comment down below free guide and I will go ahead and send it over to you. And as always guys, people watch these videos and they often forget, 
I am a local licensed realtor here in the greater Toronto area. And so if you have any questions about any properties or simply want some help, some guidance on uh, buying, selling, or investing in real estate, then by all means, my contact information is down below in the description. Pick up the phone, give me a call, and I'll be glad to answer any of your questions or help you in any way, shape, or form. So there you have it, guys. Those are the pros and the cons of living in Brampton. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. It helps the channel grow very much so. Again, my name is Matt's Boy, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.